I have no idea what is going on with these rates right now. Hello everyone, I'm Jen, your fellow realtor. So I got myself all ready to do this video. I made an outline, I did all of my research. I also saw that the Fed had announced that it was going to start tapering off its purchases of assets. And experts were expecting rate hikes to combat the higher than expected inflation. I was all ready to go. I was gonna come on here and tell you that the interest rate party was over and rates were expected to go up. And then guess what happened? The rates dropped. So honestly, I'm starting to think maybe no one knows what's actually going on because logic would dictate that the rates would be rising and I do think that will eventually have to happen. And that would make sense because raising the interest rates is really the only tool that the Fed has to combat inflation. But the way that this is all playing out, I'm not really sure when that's actually going to happen. The way that I'm advising my clients at the moment is if they're sitting on the fence, it's a good time to act now because we should assume that this drop in interest rates is just short term. And the most likely outcome is we are going to see interest rates rise through the end of the year and into 2022. However, if I was a betting person, I would only put the odds of that happening slightly above the odds of the rates remaining low, probably around a 55 to 45 chance in favor of the rates going up versus the rates remaining low. So as you can see, I'm not very confident in the rates going up. Okay, so bottom line is, if you are in the market to buy a house in the near future, home affordability is going to get worse, not better. And let me explain why. If interest rates go up, home prices will more than likely go down, probably significantly down but your mortgage payment is going to go up. Now I made a video explaining the interest rates effect on your mortgage payment and you can see that right here. Now on the other hand, if interest rates remain low, you can expect home prices to continue to climb. Either way, unless you're paying cash for your home and you need a mortgage in order to purchase, you can expect that that purchase per month is gonna be more money in the next year than it does cost right now. To quote a good lender friend of mine, if you are waiting for housing to become more affordable, you're chasing your own tail. So to summarize, if you are in the market to buy or you're sitting on the fence thinking maybe you should be purchasing or maybe you should just wait for a housing market crash, the time to act is right now because as interest rates go up, your purchasing power is going to decrease. I really hope that this video helps. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new video. And I will see you on the next one. Hey, are you curious about Delaware's real estate market? Check out this video right here. And if you're thinking about selling in this hot seller's market, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel.